Oh my goodness, I am here, and yes, it's the first video for my Rogue. I haven't made any videos for my Rogue yet, but I thought, yeah, you know, why not? Let's make one... What am I What am I doing? Poisons, poisons. I know I usually have a poison on this hand, and it's deadly because I am combat spec. And I like to get the savage combat proc from having a target poisoned. Yes, that's correct, I'm using, if anybody's curious, I am using Zygor's Guides. Just to see uh, what exactly it is currently like. Um, all I'm saying is uh, it's quite laggy because this Zygor Guides is using up uh, a lot, a lot of memory usage. I mean, I'm on I'm on eight, eight point twenty four megabytes. In fact, I will be right back. I'm going to turn some things off. See if I can. Uh, you know, make it a better viewing experience for you guys. And I'm back. So let's see if this is potentially any better for you watching the video. Ah, <sighs> hopefully this may be somewhat better. I've got rid of a few things. Okay, what kind of... I'm still on 7.29. This is this is pretty much the best I'm going to get. This, this sort of, you know, seems alright. Um, well, it will have to do for the moment in time. Right, where are we going? Let's see. Talk to Anchorite Obadai. To the left as you enter the Temple of Talhamat, next to the purple glowing posts. Okay, uh, and as you can see, um, let's try and uh, make this map bigger. This green dot here, as you can see, that is Zygor Guides putting that on that position for me to tell me to go over there. God, I hate these slow. Slow birds. So, 150% speed. Oh, very antagonizingly boring. Da da na 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 na. I will uh, I will cut this bit out of the video, and I will move over to that once I get to the temple of Telhamat. Da da da. Okay, and here I am at the temple of Tal Hamat, wherever they got that name from. Who am I talking to? Scout Vent, no, Anchorite, Obadai, Obadai. This is the Giza. As you can see, Zygor guys says, "What are those kids shouting about outside? It's making them extremely angry. Why do they? Why do they feel it's? It's? Why do they feel a necessity to scream all the time? Rather antagonizing. I hate them kids. Very annoying. Okay, well, except deadly predators. From where? I don't get it. From where? Oh, I'm supposed to go to this scout veneer. Okay, Just put a sprint on. Na -na 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 -na. Good fortune. Yeah, true that. Um, bear with me one second while I close my window because these children are very annoying. Annoying kids make me angry. All right, where were we? I'm back after multiple interruptions, which I apologise for. Right, where we're right, Let's see. Um, turn in Temple of Telhamat, which is obviously to this guy over here. Yeah. Through that. Right, what am I accepting? Accept the pools of Agador. Oh my god, I remember that quest, and I hate that quest. Well, I don't want to make that my home location because I have a flying mount for a reason. Get to the temple of Telhamat flight path. God. This thing is. This add on is going to make me extremely lazy telling me to do all these things. Turn in in search of Sedai, Sedai. Oh, this guy down here. With a ball. Oh my god, he's watching me. Alright, okay. You wanna play like that? Okay, we can do that. We can do that. You're gonna die, though. You're gonna die! Yeah, take that. You're dead, man. Ball, pig, thing, whatever. You're dead. Right, what am I, where am I going, okay, return to Obadiah. Well, I don't really like the Outlands, I don't like Hellfire. Well, no, no, I mean, to be honest, this is the most interesting out of all of them. 
But um, I don't really like it because I, don't, I just don't like Outlands. I find the quests really sort of boring and repetitive. I don't think sort of any extra sort of thought went into them, really. Talk to Maku. I, yeah, I don't think sort of any extra thought really went into them. They were just sort of quests to uh, make an expansion, you know, keep sort of players going. The uh, the usual sort of thing. That's why I think with Cataclysm, it's what they really sort of went went out. They went out of their way and, and did some good quests. Uh, the ones they all changed, that was anyway. Um, but these quests, these are just extremely, you know, just sort of like grindy and, and boring. And they get really, really repetitive after a while. And, you know... <laughs> Considering the fact that I've done this will be out this will be this is my fifth time doing Outlands, you know. I, it's even more boring for me than it would be for a first time player. Although don't get me wrong, the first time I did come here, um I did uh really enjoy myself. Why is this arrow? Kill Maghar Grunts, debilitated Maghar Grunts get oh yeah, 'cause I'm of course I'm Alliance, that makes that makes sense. I forgot, because usually, usually I've been doing this on Horde characters, so you're friendly, friendly with these ones. But of course. Pow, take that. Easy mode. Yeah, I've, as, as I said earlier, I've got a uh, combat spec for leveling. It, it's, you know, it's oh, got an itchy hand, so I have to... Oh, that's, that's really itchy, but that's quite soothing. Okay, anyway, where was we? No, no, I don't believe. I can't do anything. Uh, uh, dead. What is this thing? Why are there so many? What's this about? Ugh. Stop dodging. Right, there we go. Yeah, as I said, uh, I'm combat spec, so it's really sort of easy mode um, leveling. It's pretty much cheap shot. Ah, why is my hand so itchy? That's quite frustrating. Yeah, it's pretty much cheap shot, and then that one down there, which, as you can see, bottom right corner, revealing strike. Which, um, what does it do again? I haven't been on this character for it. I know it's something to do with percentages of your finishing combo moves, and I will check after I've killed this guy. Whenever he dies. Just die, please, die. Dead. Okay, right. Yeah. Instant strike causes 100% end of your normal weapon damage. Uh, increase effectiveness of your next offensive finishing move on that target by 35% for 15 seconds. So there you go. Was I killing the... Hmm. Oh, I was killing the wrong ones. I... Yeah, I was. Silly me for not paying uh, any attention whatsoever. These are the ones I'm meant to be killing. Yeah, and as you saw earlier, I put Deadly Poison on because, you know, it gives me the Savage Combat proc, which makes them, t which makes them take 4% more. Gives me 4% more at attack power against them. So, you know, that's why I use Deadly Poison, because Instant Poison doesn't actually give me that proc. Right, I'm going to... Oh, oh, he's watching me. They're both watching me. Right, I'm going to sap that one. Okay, right, he's sapped. Let me just remember what my uh, key bunnies were. Evasion, right, okay, yep. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to open on this guy. I'm going to pop evasion. I'm going to get five combo points. Use recuperate, so I take 3% less damage. And it well, obviously heals me. Heals me for X amount of my HP. Then I'm going to gouge this guy, which didn't work. Okay, not over mildly annoying. Now I've got that on him. Kidney shot. Now he's just, you know, easy, easy riding. Dead. Oh, it's not going to do this stupid thing, is it? Oh, yes it is. Of course it is. Right, I don't want to... Mm. Mm. I want to pull that other one. I didn't want the other guy laying under that little tent, but I didn't want to pull him over as well. You know, I mean, I could e easily take both of them, but you know, I just can't be bothered to deal with it, really. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Look, I've just killed all of those, and I've just got one set of beads. That will take quite a while. Hmm. An extremely low, terribly low drop rate. Get nine more. Oh, it's gonna take forever. That is actually gonna take forever. 
Alright, I'm gonna kill these groups, then I'm gonna cut it there. Seeing as these quests are extremely long and grindy, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch them. But this will give me an idea of anything else that you may want or be interested in watching in the near future to do with my rogue. I'm gonna get jumped here, I can feel it, I knew it, I knew it would happen. So I'm gonna pop my little AoE proc there. Get five combo points. Recuperate, definitely. I'm gonna start on this other guy now. I could really just sort of do that if I wanted to, to get rid of him. But, you know, I don't really see much point, to be honest. Because, you know, I'm not really struggling with any of them. Just gouge him there, get some energy back. He's going to be a dead man. Parry, 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 parry. Loving the amount of parries that they're doing. Just die! So many parries! My goodness. Or as I like to say, for goodness cake. Oh, we've got a few more beads here. That's really annoying that it does that. I think that other guy might possibly run out. No, he's not going to. Okay, that's alright then. Button mash, button mash. Let's get this guy in here. Praying or some shit. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he spotted me. Let's have him. Let's have him. I'm not liking the amount that these lot are parrying and dodging. This is really antagonizing. I don't see why they are, to be honest. I don't see why, they, why they're doing that. Because I'm the same level as them, I don't see why. Uh, dead. It's going to be a dead man. He's a dead man, surely. Surely he's a dead man. Yes, anyway, as I say, I will leave you there with this for my rogue. This was just a quick sort of video for perhaps anyone who might be interested in seeing some videos featuring my rogue. I am slowly leveling towards level 85, of course. And yes, anyway, so I will leave it there. And obviously, if you would like to see more of the rogue, then obviously comment it or send me a message or, you know favorite subscribe whatever you know whatever you're feeling do that and i will get on the rogue making videos anyway uh next time <laughs> so right now i bid you farewell